Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of Nurse Nikki is Learning to Draw. I'm Nurse Nikki and today we're going to be drawing a great white shark. If you're interested, please stick around. Okay, so we're going to be drawing this shark with Krita. It's a free software. As you can see here, I'm starting to do the outline of the shark. I had a hard time for some reason doing the tail. I, I don't know. I just had to keep going over that part of the shark to get it the way that I wanted it to look. But anyway, the software that I used was Krita to draw the shark. And the brushes that come with Krita are pretty good. I really like them. They're very easy to use. Unfortunately, when I was doing the shark, I didn't pay attention to the actual painting brushes that come with Krita. I was just using the pencils. So as you can see, as I go along, I had a little bit of a hard time getting stuff blended. It came out okay in the end, I think. I really liked the way it turned out in the end, but it, the struggle was real <laughs> during this. Anyway, so I did just kind of go back around and, and made sure that the shape of what I drew was what I wanted and then made sure that any additional parts of the shark that I left off, as you can see there, I left off one of the uh, fins that I drew those in and then just continued to go around and start to color in the shark. So, so at the top there, you saw I put a color palette so that I could keep choosing that color when I was going back in to color the shark to make sure that the colors were pretty much consistent as opposed to keep trying to pick them out the color picker each time because that's terribly efficient and a lot of times you won't get the color that you're needing. And so anyway, I just continued to go around and I tried to add some detailing with this, which again, because I didn't use the right brushes, I ended up using the pencil tools. It didn't come out as well as probably it would have for somebody who's a little bit more experienced in using, uh, doing digital paintings. So hopefully at the end, you'll see that the shark did come together very well. And then I did have to go back in, or I felt like I had to go back in anyway, and do some uh, line work around the shark, just kind of experimenting to see how I can use the program to get the effect that I wanted as far as trying to do a semi-realistic drawing. And like I said, I think it came out well, just went in and tried to make sure that I got highlights in. So that's, that's where you start to see me. I didn't put white. That's where you start to see me erasing certain areas so that the white background could come through to show the highlights. Now that was a mistake. That was a mistake. And if you stick around to the end, you'll see why that was a mistake. But anyway, so the shark is starting to take form very well. The digital drawing tablet that I used was the Artist 15.6 Pro. I think that thing is so nice. I really enjoy using it. I'm getting used to drawing on a tablet. It's not as, it's not as easy as I would have thought it would be. Just, I think it's more so the, I think it's much more the fact that it does not feel like paper is the biggest thing. But other than that, I really do like it. It's a pleasure to use. I think it's a good tablet. It's a budget tablet, right? So I paid $360 for it. I think right now, if you were to buy it on Amazon, they have it to where there's like a, either a 10, I think it's a 10. It's a 10% discount if you buy it off Amazon. So if it's something that you're interested in buying, I would say go over to Amazon right now and see if they still have it. So I just continued to try to draw. I just continued to draw the shark the best I could. And at one point I started to add some white outlines to the shark. Now I will say, so as far as using Krita, one thing that I noticed that I wish I knew before was that, or is that, excuse me, whenever you start, if you have two different layers, right? And you start drawing on one layer and you have another layer that you're gonna maybe add the paint bucket tool to. If you're used to any kind of painting software, you usually can just pour, so to speak, the color onto the layer and it fills up the whole layer. The issue is with Krita, at least it happened to me, if you have a layer on top with the drawing in there and you pour the bucket on another layer while that drawing layer is visible, it won't fill in the whole thing. You actually have to turn off the layer that has the drawing, then pour the bucket on the other layer and then 
re-enable the layer with the drawing so you can now see whatever you drew and then it will be all filled in in the back. But if you don't do it that way, it's it's not gonna work. So just wanted to let you know that's something that I found out, but I think it's a pretty good software. You can't get, you can't get a better price than free. <laughs> so I, I say, you know, try and download it and, and see what you can see. So anyway, I did do some white high highlighting around the fish and that's why in this portion of the video, this is basically where I found out that paint bucket tool worked in that way. And another thing that I realized too, is that you cannot, for some reason for me, I don't know, maybe I can get some words of wisdom from others that use Krita. But what I noticed as well is that when I use the color picker tool off the background that I'm using, and tried to use it again to fill in some gaps, it did not work. It, it, it picked a darker color for some reason. So I'm not quite sure what that's about. I have to do some more investigation and see what's going on with that. So that's one of the things I noticed with Critter as well. But again, like I said, it's free to use. So that to me is not a deterrent to use it. And then what I ended up doing was I erased that other colored layer, did what I told you and added that background again then tried to do some design to the background, which I kind of failed miserably. So once I got the background done, I just called it George. I kind of ended the drawing right there. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, I thank you for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate your time. Let me know, have you ever used Krita to do any kind of drawing? What are your, what is your advice as far as working with it? Please leave that in the comment section below. And again, I appreciate you hanging out. Please hit that like button if you like what you saw today. Hit the bell button so you can see when I upload again. And don't leave before you watch some more of my other videos. Thanks again. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.